When you build a building, you have a set of blueprints and an architect and engineers sit down and design a communication system, plumbing, air conditioning, all of that. In the brain, we're actually trying to reverse engineer that in a way. We actually don't have the blueprint. Possibly the most complex entity in the entire universe. There's microarchitecture, nanoarchitecture, macroarchitecture, and then there's the function of the brain, which we observe in everything we do when we interact. As humans, we have this intellectual curiosity about what makes us different. It's all related to our brain circuits. Getting the tools to allow us to see circuit activity in action and then apply it to problems that uh, no one's been able to solve before would be a tremendous advance. We all have a brain and we want to understand that brain better. Get the scientists from different communities, different cultures, different emphases together. They'll start forming their collaborations organically. To do that type of sharing, you don't need a big bureaucracy. You don't need a lot of complexity. You just need to talk to each other. No one person or even small number of people have the ex expertise in terms of anatomy, physiology, computation, theory, mathematics. We can all act synergistically to come to a better model of what's going on. Every one of us have been touched, either directly or indirectly, by mental conditions. And the fact that we don't have answers for a lot of these things, we don't know how to cure depression, we don't know how to uh, treat Alzheimer's, we don't know how to deal with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. When you have diversity in a group, you would take in the advice, experience, expertise from others, and that, I think, at the end, will end up enriching whatever you're trying to build. Brain Initiative combine the science and engineering together to develop the tool which can impact the neuroscience community. Interrogating uh, the signal connectivity, how these single neuron will be connecting to the next neuron, how memory is being really formed and retrieved. Deeply understand uh, the last frontier of our mystery of the brain. For researchers, oftentimes there's questions of funding, there's questions of relevance, and foundations can say, we're, we're committed to this work because we're doing this work. We're putting our, our mouths where our money is and our money where our mouth is. If we as a government don't fund basic science, who's going to do it? Better outcomes for patients and for all of us, whether you are diagnosed with a disease or not. It's going to save us a lot in the long run as far as healthcare costs. Let's get all the stakeholders, industry, government, academics, lawyers, doctors, people from all parts of life, and let's come up with a structure to help people in the greatest need. What would happen if we put this, this, and that together? If, if it actually worked, you know, it could really advance things. And in terms of the research that we do in neuroscience, I think uh, the brain initiatives enabled that kind of high risk, high reward. We should just get people together to pursue this goal that is much greater than any one of us individual professors or scientists. What could be more interesting than understanding what the ingredients to consciousness are? That's our vision.